Ten, ten, ten. Oh, okay. You got it on TiVo or whatever? Uh, TiVo. <laughs> You're such <laughs> a fucking No no he's close. No, oh D V R you're such Do people a, still got a DVR. You're such a boomer. It's ridiculous. Dude, um, I never had like real TV. I know. I didn't really you didn't? No. TiVo's not. That must help be you like a a, Are we are we recording now? That yeah, must have on. been like okay, a good deal. thing, dude. What TiVo? No, not having real TV. Oh yeah. It's because we had like one channel. No. Do you ever go to someone's house in like another state and you're like, what? You just get all these channels off of the <laughs> The, the bunny ears? No, no, no. My friends had cable. Like, there was real TV available. What happened is... We didn't have cable. There was only satellite. When I was eight years old, we moved to Dillon from the town we'd lived in gotcha. previously. And at that point, my dad and mom were just like, you know, TV's expensive and there's a lot of garbage on there. My mom's oh, really? exact words were, there's a lot of garbage on there. There is a lot of garbage and, uh, on there. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Uh, yeah, she didn't want us seeing all that See, garbage. We didn't have, we like didn't the, have TV. Like the Ninja Turtles. That was too violent. That was yeah. garbage. Well, my mom used to take all the, the guns rug rats, away from my The toys. rug rats were rude to each other. They were pretty rude to each other. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, TV's, it's it's all conflict. Like I all guess conflict. that's what makes compelling television. That's what makes any compelling. Is if there's no conflict, it's just boring. Like, <laughs> Could you imagine real world if they just all like were just good roommates to They're each like other? They were like super good roommates. Like, hey, man, I cleaned up after you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can get me on the next one. Oh, my God. I yeah, never like, saw oh, the I got real the world, dishes. obviously, because didn't miss much. Didn't have TV. <laughs> Don't but even. Don't even. We got we got cable uh, because my mom didn't find out about 9-11 until her kids got home from school. <laughs> she, she got that off of TiVo? Again? No, TiVo she was 9/11? like, I didn't know that this was even going on because she listens to CDs in her car. Oh, she just okay. like, went about her day and then like got home and we were like, yo, this crazy thing happened today. I love how quickly – so this is 2001 because mm -hmm. I never forget. Sure. Uh, so in 20 years – We've gone from people being like, ugh, I need to be more plugged in so I can find out what's right. going on, to, ugh, I need to unplug so right. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, right now like, we're just like, oh my god, you went a day and you didn't know some... Lucky you. People Holy are like, shit. I know. Well, well done. It was like it was just a reaction that she had, and it was like we had cable for like one year, and then she's like, "This is dumb. I'm not doing <laughs> this anymore." Yeah. Also, no, no diss to your mother. Yeah, uh, but. This is very in line with like the 9/11 stuff, where it's just like motherfuckers that live in like n not New York, yeah, <laughs> are just like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, they're coming for me next, and it's yeah. like I think Davenport, mm. Iowa, will be <laughs> just fine. We're gonna be okay. No, I remember in the Shout months to following the that, Davenport. we were like driving around, and I saw a cave. I was like, dude, fucking Bin Laden might be in that cave right there. <laughs> that would be I knew. Wild. I Dylan. knew he was hiding in a cave, and I was like, there's a cave right there. That son of a bitch, he's in there. He's Via scheming. The transitive property. We yeah. have Taliban uh, dude, in he's, Dylan. Yeah, he's going to fuck up Harden, Montana next. That's his next target. We got a grain elevator that's pretty tall. You <laughs> know? I was going to say, they never saw it coming, but I would wager that many of them definitely thought they saw it coming, and that was why all, they had all the anxiety. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so we got Thanksgiving coming up. We or do have it's Thanksgiving. And week. you guys were asking me, we were all asking each other, anything interesting ever happened on a Thanksgiving? And the only thing I can think about is like my dad is all about Thanksgiving going to West Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with what goes on? I mean, I did kind of. I, I know where it is. So West Yellowstone, it's, it's right on the border of Montana and Idaho and, and Yellowstone and National Park. It's kind of right down like, in the corner. I feel like Idaho is uh, like 10 miles south, but. I thought it was Yellow or uh, uh, Wyoming. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, straight south from West Yellowstone is that little corner of Idaho, like where Driggs is. Okay. Well, if you ever drive through there in the wintertime, yeah. there's like half cars, half snowmobiles, like on the road. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, because it's, it's really high elevation, West yeah. Yellowstone. It's like, what, six get, or 7,000 feet. It's fucking cold there it's super They're cold they get routinely like the coldest they place get like in the early state. snow and yeah. they get a lot of snow but it's not very mountainous mm -hmm. and so it's really popular for snowmobiling but around thanksgiving the entire world of cross country convenes like like on the place all cro every cross country skier. yeah, yeah, yeah. This here is we on go their website yeah there it is destination yeah. oh that looks like a nice it's, groomed it's, run it is uh that's a uh, that is also, double track. I, I guess know. that's where West Yellowstone is. Yep, it's right in that little right. crook in the yeah. corner down there. 
So, um, my well, dad always also, goes. He always goes, and he's all about cross country. Like that's he's, a very outdoorsy person. He is. Yeah. yeah, I think like the first week of November, Yellowstone Park closes almost all the roads. Yeah. So that snow can start building up for the winter. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you snowmobile it. Snowmobile, cross country ski, and, yeah, and uh, snow coach if you want to pay one of them. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there's the, the the dog sled. I think they do. Oh, that they too. probably got dogs. Yeah, I, I bet feel they like got that's dog a thing. sleds. But uh, so my dad would always make it like make me go and i hated it because i was i was not into cross-country skiing in high school or middle school or most of no, my life because you were a child I, and well, i was into like extreme yeah. like so because you like to have fun and my dad would hated the snowmobilers and would just talk <laughs> so much trash on them the whole time uh hey and but snowmobiling is like i always low-key really wanted to go i would have yeah. You know what? I would have gone if he was like, yo, we're going snowmobiling. I would have just been like, let's go. I would have I'd been like helping him plan the trip. Yeah. But all, like all he had to do is put a little bit of snowmobile on the hook and you would have been. Oh, like, he could have just. Yeah, just a little bit. And I would have been. If he's like, on. all right, so Bjorn, the second day we're going to rent snowmobiles. We're going to cross country ski the rest of the time. Oh, but yeah. One day oh, snowmobiles. No, you you're going to be there. End. He's got to be like, yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah, cross country no. ski for five days. For five oh, days. yeah. We snowmobile. We snowmobile. Like, Fuck yeah. On Let's board. Go. Mom, like, get the car. <laughs> like, exactly. All I would, right. I'd have been up and down all those hills. Yeah. And then he'd be like, ooh, sorry, the snowmobiles <laughs> like fell through. Yeah. Right. No, my dad had similar opinions about snowmobiles. But honestly, I think it's just. He, he calls them snow machines. I, too. That's what I was just about to ask. Yeah. He calls them snow machines. And he just always was talking shit on it. I hated it. But so the, my memory, this is the only memory I yeah. have. Like. And Thanksgiving always kind of sucked there because it was just like we didn't like have it wasn't with family really it was like no our you were family. just like in a hotel we we're in or a like hotel. a cabin yeah with like a whole bunch of these and my dad's like trying to I, he was like the doctor for the Swiss um, cross country Olympic team or something and he did U S Olympic so team was at he one like point. networking at this event uh, yeah I don't know <laughs> oh no and I just didn't even want to be there yeah but I remember I rented so my dad rented me a pair of skis and um uh spoiler alert mm. your boy broke them nice I was told that these they were like these bindings are as good as like ski bindings like regular ski bindings they had all this like extra crap on them uh -huh. and so I was messing around and like we were supposed to just be going down trails, but I built a jump and I was doing yeah. backflips <laughs> because it, they're, they're so light. It's mm -hmm. like doing like it's like you don't even need anything. I was doing backflips and then I and then I found like a tree. And so I was trying to do I was like doing grinds on the tree like I was I was grinding on these <laughs> cross country. Skis. Yeah, because you were like a park rat <laughs> yeah, you, I, as a kid, right? Like what were you thinking, dad, when you rented those to me? <laughs> remind, well, it, remind me, what's the average like width? Of a cross country ski, I don't know, a couple inches, about two inches. Yeah, yeah about they're, two inches. They're, yeah, they're built for I like, think they're like travel. Yeah, there's yeah, no like, metal edges. What, yeah. like twenty to thirty millimeter width? Yeah, yeah. So I had built this jump, and then I like built this rail, and I was like doing um, rails on them, and then I did try. So then I, I, I want to say it was like one of those, you know, those cow gate things. Yep. Yeah. I built a jump onto one of those. I fell real hard on it. Wait, I like a cattle guard? Like a cattle. Yeah, yeah. Like so the like, ones on the across the road that you drive. No, 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 no. The like like a big just gate. just the an, gate. just they a like metal gate. A yeah, metal just gate. a metal gate. Okay, okay. I found a metal gate. Yeah. And I and I found a hill. Yeah, those don't look like park skis yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah, and that's I was an adult's foot. Right? I was trying to grind yeah, this this metal gate. Yeah, they're really skinny. And I totally just dis destroyed these skis. Like yeah. they were, I, I brought them back and the, and the, the rental guy, they were like skis that hadn't even come out yet. So they were like prototypes or whatever. Mm -hmm. They were, and the, the guy that had rented them to me said he had never seen someone <laughs> return skis in that condition. That were that trash. And my dad had to buy them <laughs> for like, <laughs> like probably regular retail and right. they were not cheap probably like six hundred dollars yeah, like to basically just buy and throw in the trash that's hilarious i trash. know about skiing it's that it's incredibly expensive like obscenely expensive yeah. it sort of is yeah i feel like the lift tickets are the most expensive part once you get the gear those, like you those can have out of control i feel but like you can cross-country skiing is that you don't need a lift ticket right you have to, you but have you to also get a pass just for the access pass access pass Wait, if they're people groomed. pay money to also because be cold on board dude that grooming costs stuff they Fuck have to that. they have to groom the trails 
It, here's the and thing. The golf never... course has to make money in the winter time. <laughs> they... Fair enough. So I've never actually gone cross country skiing just because I way. I looked at what it was and I was like, this is cardio, but you're cold. Honestly, dude, I'll, I'll I'm tell good. you, I did go cross country skiing later in life uh-huh. in in um, Glacier Park, and it was ungroomed, mm-hmm. and we just went down the road. Okay. Cool as shit. Was that it? was rad. Uh, also, snowshoeing, really cool. Right, like, but if you want to do that, to like walk around in get... nature and not sink into like mm. be in like s- in waist deep snow and not sink to your waist, right? But hear is me out. Really fun, and I don't know. This is, but but if you're gonna do all that, why not get downhill skis with AT bindings and go up the hill doing your cross country, looking at nature shit, mm-hmm. and then go down the hill having fun? It's true. You could do that. I think that cross country skiers. Like they hate fun. No, They're boring. We're just approaching dorks. it from like a from like a we, we're not good at it perspective. And like I'm sure that yeah. like they can they can do it. I think the biggest thing for it is like I think it's whack as hell. But I also acknowledge that like for the purposes of cross country skiing, I am a spring chicken. Like it's a lot of old timers who are just like yeah, I just like to get out in the brisk winter air and see know, nature. It's kind of fun. Yeah, you see, I, I hear my, I'm like yeah, that's what it is, and, and boo that. That's I, I mean, I, I understand where you're coming from, but like <laughs> I've gotten to this point in my life where like, I don't know, dude, I just walked to the studio and it was dope as hell because there's like, oh, I like the leaves are the, the leaves are. It's like going for a walk in the middle of winter mm-hmm. when you can't normally go for a walk. I mean, you might as well. Just, snowshoeing is the same thing. Mm-hmm. I've learned to appreciate it later in life. But as a teenage boy, I thought it was the lamest thing ever. You were and I thought wrong. I would destroy a six hundred dollar pair That's of awesome of, of rental <laughs> Cross country skis. You know what? My dad never had me go again because I was too you expensive. Go. You <laughs> got out uh, of this it. This might not come as a surprise. I'm not going snowshoeing either. <laughs> so <laughs> nah. I don't know. I, nah. I, I appreciate if I'm doing any now. of that, I'm gonna get a pair of skis with AT and bindings. Because like, then you you do that, but with like a goal mm. in mind. Well, the last thing I'm gonna say. Yeah. I mean, we do live in a place that we're. It's not like we can't go for walks in the mm-hmm. dead of winter. Yeah, it doesn't really snow here like more than once. But a year. like, if you have like I don't know, say a partner that doesn't ski, mm-hmm. it's kind of dope to just like go for a walk in the forest. Mm-hmm. In the snow to do cross country, yeah, skiing, to do cross country, like because the is, learning curve is pretty much what it's an just, hour. It's it's like, can you walk? Fucking yeah, you don't can fall. do this. Okay, yeah, don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna walk with long feet. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. It's what, what I was gonna say before when you, when we were talking about like teenagers, like to me the type of like downhill like actual fast skiing is yeah. like gnarly energy drink shit like yeah, it's like yeah pounding a monster i'm at like the coffee like black coffee stage of my life mm-hmm. and i feel like cross-country skiing totally. is like a or nice a matcha chamomile, <laughs> a chamomile tea yeah. and i'm just like you know what i could see that in the future for myself but right <laughs> this now is not quite there i want a 20 ounce black coffee please like <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah i mean i get I, i'm just saying that i get it now but like it was a little ridiculous that my dad yeah. wanted to do that mm-hmm. but well speaking about taste and refinement yeah i'm excited for what you have for us this week. Yeah. You want to tell us Dude. about uh, some new shoes that you got? Bjorn? Yeah, I uh, I hit two pairs of shoes in the same week. And I, I, OK, so I've been talking about it on the pod. I I needed in my collection. I needed more sneakers. Now, I needed <laughs> a pair of threes. I didn't have a pair. I have ones. I have a lot fours. of fours. I have a lot of fours. I have a few fives. fives. Sixes. I have a pair of sixes. I have these, whatever these are, the twenty. Th- Seven. The Delta. <laughs> the Delta The twos. Delta Two. Oh yeah, that's, I that's have the hottest Spizikes. model in town, right I have there. The Spizikes. We counted. I counted them after you were like Bjorn. How many Jordans do you have? The answer is fourteen currently. I'm sitting at fourteen of pairs. That's that's which impressive. Is a lot. Of I think pairs. I have six. So I. I have two ones. I have the thirteens, and I have three pairs of threes. How many Yeezys do you have? Six. Six. If you count those power phase, which I barely do, uh, five and a half. Okay, five and a half. <laughs> All right, five and a half. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's getting a little. I am slowing down on my sneaker collecting for yeah. sure. Yeah, I keep saying that, and then I keep going for shit, time, and then right? fucking I buy some other. Dumb every shoe time I'm that like, I don't need. I'm done, but and then I'm like, fun. ooh, the oat ones. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I know those camo threes. Hopefully, are gonna come uh, out, and I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna if I can. God, I want those. I'm those gonna are go cool. for. I'm gonna go for them. Yeah. Anyway. These. What I finally, are these? I finally hit on a pair of threes. Cool. Um, 
and they're the uh, these are the pine green. Um, what are they? Right, the retro three, pine green, silver white noir, agent black vert sapien, whatever that is. A um, bunch of it's a bunch of color codes. Yep. Let's see them. Uh, okay. I was, well, I was what about, about the, Let's talk about the box first. Okay. Because this is a do- like I've got a bunch of fours and the four box doesn't have any. Um, what is it? Consistency. But you said mm. all yours look like this. Yeah, I have the I have the red, whatever they're called, the yeah. red ones. I have the, the Georgetown fire red. fire red, the Georgetown, and the cool gray, and they all look exactly like this. But where this color is like like a zebra dip, pretty much. Like yeah, zebra dip. it's got the elephant print. That's elephant. Or, I print, meant to basically. say. I was looking at your scene. whatever. Fair it's enough. Fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. No. 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 I. I it's I'm, got the alligator I'm a print. For correcting you on that. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, it's like the color. This color like represents the colorway of the sneaker, and then that side is the elephant print, and it's it's consistent and yeah. it's cool on all of them. Yeah. I was gonna say so they do color match. With the other ones to like the main color of the shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on the Georgetowns, it's navy and elephant print. On the Cool Grays, it's gray and elephant print. And on the Fire Reds, it's red and elephant print. And I love this. There's some tiny details about this box I love. This is like a gloss on the elephant print, and then it is a matte on the green. On the green. Yeah. And then it is also a gloss hit on right, the Right. And is that Jumpman embossed in logo. there a little bit? The Jumpman logo is like raised or lowered in or not? It's just. The way or is it just that glossy? It, it's it's the way that this I don't know exactly how this box oh, yeah. is printed. No, it's but it's like embossed in there a little mm-hmm. bit, like it's pressed in. Yeah. Um, a, and the question. cardboard's good quality. Like this is a good. I like this box. My question to the two of you is: Does this yes. matter? Yeah, it does because we talked about this on my. Um, I I bought a pair mm-hmm. of um, Air Maxes, mm-hmm. and one of my problems with Air Maxes is the boxes. Are just a, it's just an it's orange It's just box. that cheap red Nike box, yeah. the red and white one. And it's so, like, like you pay like, extra for some, like, exclusive. It's, like, not even cardboard. It's fucking paper. It's so I mean, thin. I know cardboard is paper. I work literally in a paper mill that makes cardboard. <laughs> but, like, um, it's, it's, like, the thinnest, shittiest yeah. fucking cardboard that you could ever have on those those red and white boxes and some nice shoes come in those here's my question to you do you, so it sounds like both of y'all keep the boxes uh, oh yeah that you get with your shoes gotta keep your box i do now do you do it for anything else do i keep the bo- oh do, you know what uh yes like when you buy like okay we have this gaming mixing board, systems right? Okay, that's a that was one of the ones I was going to ask. Is like, um, do you have all your the box mi- for the Switch? I have the I do have the box for the Switch. I don't have the for the PS4 because I bought it from you. You bought it from me. <laughs> and I did. Not I've got the box I've got the, the PS4. I've got the boxes from these mics. Yep. Uh-huh. Box and from my laptop. I keep my TV box boxes. From my a lot of iPhone. Times. Your TV. TV boxes. Like I don't have it now. I got I rid of that. my TV box because I my TV it was Printers. too big for my fucking. I guess apartment. like electronic things. I I have a hard time. What about like more of a like a luxury style item? Because like I know for me like we've I have been a talking watch. About, I, I have was a just watch say, with we've been a box. Talking about oh yep, watches. yep. I would definitely keep that box. I keep like if it's a nice box, I'm gonna keep it. And that's I don't what know I was gonna why. get to is like I have Jewelry boxes box. that I keep because I'm like, oh, I could put something in this. Yeah. Who fucking knows what I'm gonna put? I in I honestly it? need to. I need I, to like make sure I keep moving up the ladder in my career so I can afford a house with a big garage. Because so I'm gonna eventually nice just boxes. run out of room for my boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might be a hoarder. That's anyway. Well, and I think like that's the thing that I'm asking because I know that there's people that value like the the experience of unboxing. Right. They like they. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like it's. it's I don't post things. videos of it, but I do kind of. But I even, definitely appreciate even packaging. just little things like I keep my mm-hmm. I keep my sneakers in boxes, and there is something just so cool about like I don't know when I'm like selecting a sneaker and I pull it off the shelf and I pull it out of and it and it's like I'll pull it out of the paper and there's just like dirt all yep. over the <laughs> paper. Well, I was gonna say, just I, like I don't care. This is awesome. I think this that's is a all threshold. for me. <laughs> uh, it's a threshold for a lot of people because I know I have a couple pairs of shoes right now that mm-hmm. like I have the boxes for because I'm keeping them nice mm-hmm. and I don't want to just like throw them in my closet when I get home at the end of the day because then it's just it's like a mental thing. Like if I keep the box, if I put them in the box when I'm done wearing them, I just appreciate them and like hold them to a higher. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it really is just like kind of and and because. I have my sneaker shelf right now in my living room. Um, 
also let I, let's be honest part of why it's in my living room is because i was i i set up this shelf and i was gonna put it in my room and my uh now ex was like you are not putting that in the living room and i was just like vindictive and oh. just like yep this is going right in the living room and it's still there <laughs> it's like, it's it's still like there. when you move out from your well you guys That's might fair. not do this i definitely didn't do this <laughs> and you're just like yeah i'm gonna put like the booze bottles on the shelf because i can it's my house god yeah. damn it my like, house now yeah. Yeah. i literally just did the, i i had my booze bottles on my counter mm -hmm. and they were really eating up a lot of counter space for the full two plus years <laughs> i've lived at this apartment i finally put them up on top of something and i yeah. was like holy hold shit. on is there alcohol in them yeah, yeah, there's about... I'm not talking about that. No, there's like one like and a half shots. Oh, oh yeah, like, oh. like, look, we've done every single kind of absolute vodka. Exactly. <laughs> that, that comes out. Exactly. We've got, we got the blue one in the red I definitely <laughs> had friends that did that, and I did that for a little while. I'd keep the empty bottles. Yeah. And now I'm like... you can. Or like yeah, because you're like, too. dude, I fucking, I keep drank your, uh, this. Keep your goggles and in now like it's a like, crown royal If bag, I got too yep. many empty bottles around, I'm like, I... I got to get rid of the evidence here. Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> I've got a problem, right. dude. <laughs> yeah, now you're like, ooh, man. Uh -huh. I feel like I just took recycling. I know it here. was a few months of quarantine, but like that seems like that's a high volume. It <laughs> seems like a lot. Let's, let's consolidate this. You start doing the math. You're like, huh. I do. I do <laughs> think that there's like an interesting aspect of when you keep your sh shoes in a box like this. Because like even like these, I had them. I've been keeping. I mean, my golf shoes. I'm kind of. I just about to retire out of the box mm -hmm. because they now, get I way too dirty. Generally, don't keep my shoes in a box. Well, like any shoes that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. I need more shelves in my house because I, I, I currently have my Ikea shelves on the yeah. wall that have all my nicest pairs. And then the rest of them, there's just a sea of shoes around, like, right. well, along the wall. I just, I don't know. I'm I, I, I'm liking it. And I also have, in the past, I've used shoe boxes to keep other things in. So, like, all of my mm -hmm. comedy notebooks are in old shoe boxes. Okay. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a shoe box with cash in it somewhere in my house <laughs> in case people <laughs> just break stacks in. stacks of cash? Yeah, I got a flashlight oh, on my actually, CZ, though, so don't like, fuck with me, bro. It just says cash with, like, the S is a, is a dollar sign. I no. Love it. <laughs> this is going to be like uh, Cameron Peloso is going to clown you for this, but, like, what? it's... It's almost like the best hiding spot because you have a lot of shoe boxes in your There's house. There's so many. So if you're in a rush, if you're like, all right, in and out, 30 seconds, we got to find the cash, you're going to be looking through a lot of boxes. <laughs> then again, it is not the shoe box of like Don't a plain pair. <laughs> I'm not going to tell. You think I'm that stupid? No, I'm not going to tell them exactly We're what pair it is. Digging. But it's definitely like a somewhat nicer pair. Uh -huh. And so it might be one that they're like, oh, dude, I could, I could probably sell these. They're like, bro, I could get like 500 bucks for this. Wait a minute. I yeah. could get $800 <laughs> by opening the box. I'm, I'm airing out, Nick. I don't know how much money you have in your shoebox. Oh, my God. oh it's $12. it's actually not that much. I think it's like <laughs> it's at like most 150 bucks. It okay. was I was collecting all my comedy earnings, uh, and then there was a pandemic, and, and then you so got depressed, that, and you were like, I gotta "No, do. the <laughs> pandemic, my comedy revenue stream really really slowed down." And really then coming calm. out of the yeah, coming out of the pandemic, I just haven't been doing as much comedy, and so my revenue stream is still pretty slow on that yeah. one. You know. <laughs> Way fewer shows where I can make seven. Yeah, we haven't been. Uh, you know, you guys got to come out to uh, guest spot and help us. Yeah, get Nick's. Uh, yeah, if our audience more full shows up cash. to guest spot, we can start just raking in those five dollar <laughs> bills, dude. Did You're you have, have something you were gonna do with that money at some point? I I was kind of planning to buy a nice pair of shoes with it, but I was like gonna save it up till I had like a thousand dollars, and get, just like, buy something outrageous. Thought, get those uh yeah. those those uh the hender scheme prestos at the end of that I episode still we'll those. pull up the uh, release the release uh schedule for 2044 <laughs> yeah. and then uh, we can yeah look exactly get a look. at get that a point look inflation all shoes will be a thousand dollars so right but i get? might i can probably cash in my 401k around yeah. there so i could get a second pair for whatever mm -hmm. that's worth all right i'm gonna bring it back to these yeah, uh, let me sneakers see these. i'm so hyped on these actually these are great. like for a a, a three i i really wanted a three and then i saw these ones were on the you know what i hate that i'm about to say this but i like these better than the camo that mm -hmm. are coming wow, out. wow going right? against type 
That cool. is against type. So Here's, go go for them for me. You know why though? It's go be, for the camo. Terrence, for you know me, part then. of why it is? I have three other pair of camo sneakers. I don't have any camo uh-huh. sneakers. You should go for uh-huh. those. And I me. wear a lot of camo. There's also it's <laughs> almost got camo on this already. There's this elephant print that I called alligator print or whatever yeah, earlier. If, yeah, if you only see in black and white, then uh, that's pretty much alert. camo. We're gonna look at some camo shoes later. So I mean, might, I'm you still, might get some more. That's true. <laughs> I I am probably gonna go for them, but. Mm-hmm. I'm here's why I'm hyped on these. Yeah. Um, I really wanted a pair of threes and I really like the way that they did the color blocking on these. I do with, too. And these I love nice. the new buck. The new mm-hmm. buck is amazing on this. The, the heel tab is on point. It's got the jump man heel tab. I like that a lot. Um, as opposed to sometimes they do the Nike. Yeah. The Nike air heel tab. That's technically the original. Right. But I like the jump man better. Fair enough personally i love this this green this green is yeah sick. they got the yellow and green on the jump man real oregon ducks look yep um okay so you yeah, got I any friend, if you got any friends that like the beavers you could wear these like around the, them and piss them and off piss yeah. them off next time you see sam whitely make yeah, yeah. sure you're wearing oh, these. i should wear these yeah. oh yeah that'll get him going um but I don't want him to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so this mean. I almost should dick. cut that out. <laughs> bully. No, leave it in. Uh, he, he's putting it on wax. Fine. He's yeah. been on here. He'll be on here again. Yeah, he's we'll, a good kid. Yeah, we'll I have like him Sam. on again. Um, but yeah, it's your classic three. And I really wanted a three. And I finally hit on a pair. I mean, I wasn't like I wasn't that hyped on the Georgetown colorway. Um, I've been wearing more green. Mm hmm. In my outfits, I wear a lot of red too. So like, you can do red and green. I know it's Christmas, but like, you know, whatever. I'm I'm just like fuck it at this point. I'll wear a red flannel with these. Like, there's just like, I wanted to wear these last night at the show, I, real bad. Mm-hmm. Like, but I was like, I'm gonna keep them. Like, they're still super. Like, I I walked around my house, but that's about it. So the cre- they're they're creased, but uh, yeah, well, they fit not been like outside. a Jordan three. I do think the new buck is really nice as far as the color blocking goes, and I like the way it. Like, it has that matte look, mm-hmm. and I think it just really works well. Yeah. These are a sharp-looking pair. I was going to say, Nick, do you got any, like, highlights on this uh, that Bjorn hadn't mentioned? Not really. I do. The eyelets. I uh, feel like I the like contrast lot. between the black with the new buck, it's, it's like a deeper black. Mm-hmm. And the contrast mm-hmm. between that and the gray just makes these really, like, eye-catching. Like, I feel like these are going to get a lot of attention when you wear them. Well, but it's like it's subdued eye catching, like, which yeah. seems contradictory. But like when I yeah. look at these, it's interesting to me that they're calling them the pine greens because there's not really that much green on it. Right. right. It's mostly a black and elephant mm-hmm. shoe. And I think that like for me, a big highlight on this is like it is such an appropriate use of an accent color mm-hmm. and an accent color that's not like. Totally. I, so we're, we're saying contrast. I don't think mm-hmm. there's as much because it's a kind of dark green. If it was like a really like fluorescent or like high vis green, that would be would, flashier. It, like they're not flashy, but they're eye catching. But that's what I'm talking about. Like it's the it's the grown and sexy yeah. sneaker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is something that mm-hmm. like if you're 40, like I saw hijinks last night at mm-hmm. the show, right? Yeah. If hijinks came through with this. I'm not going to do the thing where I'm like, oh, look at the old head in the sneaker game. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. be like, yo, those are fucking sick. And mm-hmm. it fits you perfectly because hijinks wears like a lot of black. Like right. it's the perfect just seasoning for the outfit. Yeah. I OK. So um, I overall love this sneaker, mm-hmm. but there is one aspect that yeah. I'm not a fan of. What do you hate? I hate I hate this uh, yellow. The yellow around. There. I don't like that. I'm with you on it. I kind of am that's too. That's the one it, piece out that place. I was like, what? What? Why are you doing? It's gold. It's or yellow. It's yeah, not it's, quite. It's ducks. yellow. Yeah. It's like well, like I know you mentioned it, but that is the one piece where I like. Yeah, it I is feel like Oregon this sneaker ducks. is like 95 percent there, but this is. It, this is um what's the word like this is forgivable it's a small detail mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's i a just blemish it's a blemish um it, it just, just doesn't it make sense because there's no other yellow like maybe a black would have made or a white I, that's a what white i was trying to figure weird. out at why first. do you need an outline just make it green or just green would have been fine that's the only piece that i don't like about yeah it. do you no, want me to that. kill the magic for you green? do you want to know why this is not like a fun. No. It's, if you it. put green on it, it thickens it out too much. Have you all seen the bootleg Jordan with cheeks? 
Do you know what yeah, I'm talking about? Yep, mm-hmm. I, uh, it I would kind of give it that effect. Not to that degree, but if you put... Oh, if it was green. Yeah, they need to outline it in some mm-hmm. You would have color. to like reduce the actual figure if you want to put the same matching color embroidery. Yeah. Uh, One of my favorite things about that, though, is like... They even put the little la- like because on here you've got the little laces sticking off, sticking off. Yeah. That's one of my favorite aspects of it. It just feels like I'm amazed. No designer at any point was just like, you know what? Can we just like it's just easier to like put on because it's like it's on the heel tab thing. It's this little tiny, tiny like it doesn't need to be there. But I love but it. But it's working right now. But it's I love working it. working on you right now. You are <laughs> like, looking at it and you're analyzing and you're like, I got to think about this. And it's and the, like pushing it into your brain like in a little bit of a deeper way. His hand looks real funny, though, in this embroidery. It like, kind of does. Yeah, it's got that. It almost looks like a swoosh. It's kind like, of. Yeah, there's like a like that little part there. It's just so funny. Let me to see. Me. Oh, you know what? I could probably let me see if I can do this. Yeah. Like you could spin it. Uh, I do I'm not going to be able to like really zoom in. Zoom uh, in. I mean, you could zoom in with the laptop manually. Let me I forget what that is. Like triple. There's like a thing and it zooms on the screen, but yeah. I don't remember it now. I'll see if I can pull it up in a minute. But um, <laughs> that's the one part I don't like. And I maybe would have. I mean, I think I would have done it with black if I'm designing this. I mean, <laughs> if you know anything about Bjorn's design, I'll like outline shit in black. That's mm-hmm. like when in doubt, I will outline it in black if I need to. I'll do a contrast, a high contrast. I think that's what I would have done. I would have put, uh, I would have made that black. Yeah. That's the only, uh, but you know, that's just me. I, I'm curious what a, a lace swap. I don't, I almost don't even see a lace swap being that great on this. I, I feel like I it think would, it looks great with black. I think it looks really like, good. Yeah. What black? I, come with? I feel like the black this, would be cool. It, com- it didn't come with anything. Didn't else. come with anything. I don't know. Laces. I would try a white lace swap swap. Maybe. Because it would match the sole. It, it might look kind of cool. But I think it would. I think the black is probably the way to go. I I really think, I think the white black would is, look kind of wacky. Uh, the the black is the way to go. And I don't think there's any other color that would look good. Like adding another color would be dumb. Like a green. And oh, matching you mean you the don't green. want the yellow. <laughs> no. Yellow. Yeah, yeah. Like really get the bring this yellow out. Like, yeah, no, that would look fucking horrendous, dude. That would be bad. It would change it to a sneaker that I wouldn't like. I would just yeah. not like it. It anymore. would change it to an ugly, bad looking <laughs> sneaker. No, I think I think the black laces are where it's at. This is a good looking shoe. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to talk about some other things because, like, after well, I hit on this, yeah, I was a, excited, and I'll be. You honest, said there's a lot of buzz on this. There one. was some buzz. Like, there was a lot of people that were like, from what I was reading, people were saying that the that there, there's like some some I don't know what the word the the word is exactly for it, but like people were talking like, are they trying to? Um, make people happier about the sneakers app and like letting people hit more. On yeah, because it. it sounded like most people who went for this one got this one, right? But maybe like so, did they do like an insane stock numbers on them, or it just maybe it just wasn't that popular because it's not like an off white or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's I I feel like it could be either. It might one. be a little bit of a sleeper because I could see how some people might not like this. Aren't really as like threes are not as popular as fours, right? already this is just a random colorway it's not yeah. an original colorway so that's the thing is like to go back to what we were literally just mm-hmm. saying is this a 30 something person shoe and because of that there's not a big demand from the younger crowd yeah. who are just like yo that looks like a old, like a old head shoe like it's not flashy enough yeah. i want more color i want like the classic uh, yeah. like high heat colorways like well, and I think it could also be just the fact that I, f- I feel like Nike has dropped so many shoes this year. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. they keep putting out shoes. Like, an outrageous number of, like, hype-ish type of shoes. This like, so many like Jordans, hypey... so many dunks. I'm, and I'm going to be honest, yeah. I'm grateful because yeah. I can finally get sneakers like this that I want to get. Because like this is the kind this is the kind of sneaker that I'm gonna wear on stage a bunch and yeah it, this like, is a good shoe for that like this is a shoe that tells people that you care about sneakers but doesn't make you look like a fucking dickhead exactly and that's what I love that's why we've talked about that and I'm like oh I need a pair of threes because fours are like you're right everybody likes fours everybody I like likes them fours, yeah I like them I get a ton of attention every single time I wear them it doesn't matter what color mm-hmm. I wear and I have. I only have one classic colorway, I, and then everything else is, like, weird, random ones. Yeah. The ones that get the most attention, oddly, are those Fibas, 
which is so interesting. To bright me. red. Because they're just bright. They're I just feel like that's not that interesting to me because they are bright red. Well, I got them as like a daily driver. Sure, like, but they're solid red. I know. <laughs> red is like the most attention getting color. Bring those. Uh, can you literally bring those red up? cars get pulled over more than any other car because cops I, see think, them because they're attention getting. Do you think uh, break ins happen more on those? Probably. Because our friend of the pod, yeah. uh, uh, David Kildall. Hot Rod David Hot Kildall. Rod. <laughs> he drives a red Camry. <laughs> he and does. One time I was parked. I have a nicer car than him and his got broken into and mine did not. When you guys were parked right next to each other? We were parked near each other. What year is it? Do you know? His uh, Camry, like 2011. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I mean, a newer one. It's Newish, not like yeah. like but not really. It's but like. It just got broken into a lot. New like, enough that there's like, probably an alarm on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. Because I was going to say, if he has, like, some old shit, they're just like, yeah, that thing's not going to scream <laughs> if I break into it. But mine also has a tent. I don't know. Maybe yeah. that. So, like, yeah, these. Why are these getting so much attention? I do not know. I mean, they're they're force. They're bright red. I think that they, but there there's definition to it, right? Like because yeah. of the different components, you see depth in the way that you don't when it is something like if you did a three in all red, it would look. Is there are other pictures. Of I this? have a three in all red, and, and they get today. some attention because they do the solid. They do the solid blue. Oh no, no, never mind. It's a um, it's not a stitch. It's a um, it's a woven label. Never mind. On the tongue mm, of okay. the of the jump man, mm, on those. Mm-hmm. Whereas this is this is a this isn't a woven it's label. A, it, yeah, it's an embroidery. It's an embroidery on there. So I paid retail for them. What's the ten right now? So I, I right now they're going for two fifteen. Yeah, and I paid one ninety for them. Mm-hmm. Well, so this is the thing. Like when we were talking about uh, scarcity, I was looking up some of the numbers, and mm-hmm. the biggest thing is like uh, pertinent to this conversation is that the person was like, "Yo, don't buy these. Trying to flip them." Like yeah. these are shoes that like buy these are them, wear them. Buy yeah. them if you like them, but like don't think that you're gonna throw these in the closet somewhere, keep them on ice, and then sell them for you know a fifty percent. And gain. I feel like that's actually kind of the case with like probably eighty percent of the Jordan brand releases like mm-hmm. this year, because they came out with a there's, lot of. There's some colorways of these that are literally still available on the sneakers app. Well, yeah, those. But I'm talking like <laughs> the retro. I, I look at like. Every couple of days, but then I hit on these. I'm like, yep, right. don't eat them. Yeah, it's no, fine. I'm talking like the retros because I bought a couple of the retro threes this year. Yeah, they didn't. They're sitting at retail still, or mm-hmm. yeah, marginally above. But I wear them a lot. I like them, you yeah. know. And I'd say half at least of the retro ones this year didn't really go up in value at all. Yeah, you know. I've been wearing ones a lot, and I just can't anymore. They're just not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the, my the feet threes and the like fours hurt by the end of the are day. for sure way more comfortable than the ones. Yeah, because of the probably because of the air unit. And yeah, they're, they're they just it's just enough of an advancement in technology that they're they're a little co- cozier. Yeah, I mean, do we so do we want to talk about the numbers game a little more? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, talk should. About that. we should. We should because I saw a thing, and at first, I'm just going to tell you what my experience was. Like, I saw some people were like joking around. They're like, did they release a billion of these or something? And and at first I was like, man, those are ones that I hit on. And then I was like, no, I do not care. I like these. I'm planning on wearing these. I have too many pairs of sneakers that I have mm-hmm. that I don't wear because I don't want to mess them up. These are like, I mean, I'm my getting a little ahead of myself on these. But mm-hmm. like I wanted a pair of threes that I could destroy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that you can just wear to like, things. Like I don't have- care if it's raining out. Mm-hmm. I'll still wear these. Okay. You know? I got a question for you, though. First yeah. thought, best thought, no thinking. Are you going to feel that same way if you walk into the outlet and you see them at the outlet? If I see them at the outlet, yeah. uh no. So because I already had that experience, mm-hmm. I didn't buy these um, recent. I, I didn't buy these recent. No, no, I know. Oh, the other ones you bought recent. I but the other one I bought off StockX. Yeah. The other uh, one he like we <laughs> went for it. On. Yeah, we went for and it. Took an L. Took L's. That's why I was upset. Is that okay. I took an L on it and then it was at the outlet. Like like four months later. So if you and I go to like MLK Nike store and you see these and they're retail. So here's the thing, my friend who works at Nike, I sent I'm I'm always sending him pictures of um, when I when I hit on sneakers, especially when I get um, Adidas because he's mad because he can't wear Adidas, mm-hmm. <laughs> but he likes some Adidas, <laughs> but he can't wear them anymore mm-hmm. because he works at Nike. <laughs> And he was like, oh, man, you should have told me you wanted those because those have been at the employee store. Okay, actually, no, that's a better question. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> so knowing that you, there was a chance that you could have got them for 40% off, 
Do you feel buyer's guilt because you paid retail for them? I did for a second. And then I was like, no, I don't care because I'm going to wear these. You're like, they're worth $200 to me. They're like, worth $200 no to me. They're they're worth it because I, I wanted a pair of threes. I'm... It, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge regret purchases guy. Mm -hmm. Like when I was growing up, this is a great example of my sister and I's spending habits. My mom would give us each $20 when we went on a trip. She said we could spend it on whatever we wanted. I would spend it in the first. I'd spend it at the gas station. The first gas right. station we stopped at. Have, I would just be like, yep, candy, whatever. Gardettos. Yeah, like Gardettos. <laughs> so like, Bjorn, why do you have <laughs> a Bluetooth headset? <laughs> You don't even have a phone. From a truck stop. Yeah. <laughs> you have like the trucker headset. Yeah. 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 And like maybe a trucker hat or something. Like I would just, I would just could not get that money out of you my. You walked in that, <laughs> you walked in the gas station. You just yelled, I'm rich, bitch. Yep. Like Donnell <laughs> Rawlings. <laughs> I remember, I remember we were on a trip. My mom gave us $20 and we stopped at a Kmart like real early on the trip. And mm -hmm. I bought, um, I bought a VHS copy of um <laughs> very, very practical right here we go <laughs> a you guys were on a road trip and you're buying vcr tape i bought uh father of the bride um <laughs> okay on VHS. <laughs> big steve martin fan over here yes that's oh steve my martin God. okay and and, the and then my sister, she would just she would just agonize at everything. She'd be like, "Should I get this or should I get this?" And then she wouldn't <laughs> buy. She would be putting that twenty dollars into her bank account at the end of at the, the end because she was like, "I don't know." She what never to spent spend or this into her, into her like piggy bank. Yeah, um, she'd put it in there at the end, and I would have spent it on something you know real <laughs> practical like Father of the Bride. Wow, that's such a wild pull. But I remember I was like, yep, I need this. I just <laughs> love the idea of a, how old were you? I don't know. What, well, can you look up when that movie came out? Because it had like just come out. Oh, it was I a new it. release. Okay. It was a new release. So I bought it at full price $20. Full price $20. Came out in 91. 91. So was, and like, I just love wait, the so idea. So you were like, what, six years old or some shit? Yeah. So there's I'm like six years old. Young Bjorn in the car <laughs> starting a road trip. Yep. Does he buy the coloring book? Nope. No. Snacks. Just get the six, fuck out of here. Six years old. He's All just like, bro, travel I'm Monopoly? drinking water, dude. Absolutely not. I'm <laughs> but when I get home. VHS tape. And I'm just going to, like, I remember when I was a kid, I would buy video games and I would read the manual. Dude, on the I read the back, like, so many times. I was times. just going to say, Bjorn's in the back and he's like, God just damn. examining it. Like, that banjo fucker's going to make me uh, split a gut. By I the end of this, if somebody it. asked you, you could have just been like, yeah, okay, so the executive producers on this film. <laughs> yeah. You like you had remem you so memorized really hit it out of the park on like that, that one. print that's like size one font that's fucking yeah. off white tape. you can barely even see it where it's got like all the pe all the cast and crew like down along the bottom I with like no punctuation you read all of that shit and memorized it. Mm -hmm. I like Bjorn at like uh, any time he hears the phrase father of the bride, he just reflexively blurts out like the pull quote. He's like at a wedding and they're like, all right, next up, we're going to have the father of the bride uh, speech. And he's just like a hilarious romp. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, here's the best part. Here's the best part of the whole thing. Ebert was, and Rupert we, we gave were it two <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> we were going on a va We went to like visit my aunt. And you know what the, the, the funniest part? I left it at their house. What a what a great guest. That's a baller yeah. move. A you had twenty dollars total in your life. <laughs> you on. spend yep. it on a tape Did and you, you just fucking leave movie? it somewhere. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Like I, a, I, a whole bunch of times. Okay. That's one of those things where it's like, what's your fa people say? What's your favorite movie when you're a kid? And you tell them, and it's like, well, why was that your favorite movie? It's the tape that I had. Yeah, yeah, it's the <laughs> tape. It was one of the four that we had. I don't uh, know. You know, was it? Oh man, I'm trying to get into the psyche of six year old Bjorn. <laughs> was this kind of like a ah, uh, this is what is good? Yeah, it's like one of those purchases. You're I like, wanted to adult. be. I wanted to be like cool. Yeah, like I'm a cool. You're I don't like, know. dude. It's on the display. This is the <laughs> new shit, bro. Yeah, I fucking. Big... I got the newest shit. I love. The I hope you don't take this the wrong way. No, I love the just complete reversal where young Bjorn is like, ah, oh, Steve Martin comedy. That's what I'm into. And old Bjorn is like sneakers. I like sneakers. <laughs> now. I, I want like shoes. Cool shoes. Cool shoes. I like. Yeah. They're pretty. Oh my. They Speaking feel nice. of cool shoes, Bjorn. Mm -hmm. These shoes right here, you've kind of yeah. answered this already, but yeah, as a formality, <laughs> um, are these going to be a pavement princess? Or are you going to blow the back out of these? Oh, we blowing the the back out of these ones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these 
Man, I can't wait to wait. I almost wore these on stage last night. I wanted to wear them. I can't I wait until I can DJ a uh, guest spot so I can just use this as the walk-on yeah, music for definitely. everyone. Oh, I would 100%. love that. I would Dude, love I've that. been listening to this song like a few times yeah. lately because I'd never heard this song before. I like can't somehow, listen to it anymore. Somehow I missed this song. It, it was like a weird In my time. survey of rap music what is it that again? came out before I was born. It's, it's a big girl before I and cared. Little Scrappy. Uh, <laughs> it's called... In the, in the cut. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it is profane. It's uh. just, a, it's just, a, it's, it's basically what? Four minutes of it sexual is. harassment. When people talk about rappers talking about women, like they're objects, this is like exhibit number one. <laughs> yeah. No, it's up there. It's up there. Although I will say shout out to, uh, to Trillville. Cause there's, they do practice a lot of good consent in this song. They're like, can a player get in them guts? Which yeah. is like, that's fantastic. They were having yeah. their time. And he didn't He didn't really even force the issue. He's like, give yeah. me your number and I'll call. Yeah, I'll follow that's... that ass at the mall. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh now that's God. starting to get a little creepy. Okay, that, that, that's true. Yeah, follow you your ass at the mall You can't be following creepy. people around the mall, but following you should give them a call. Following someone is like, even with consent, it's still kind of weird. It's still like, you know, you give it it's a like, break. It's like, you go ahead and walk ahead. I'm just going to watch. And you're like, ew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now you're now you're a, a bit of a person. No one's ever said like, yeah, that guy was following me and meant it in a nice way you see like, i i feel like that that line makes it even cre- it, that uh, makes it creepier than I'm, the whisper right. song i'm back whoa let's not Ooh. get too carried away we had a no because the whisper, the whisper song, song is creepy because it's whispered but it's very straightforward <laughs> the whisper song if they delivered it in a normal like voice it's it's obscene it, it would be obscene and but it's, you're like, it's Damn, you're over the top but they're very straightforward there's nothing in there that he's not trying to hide anything it's like if you said yeah. something that was like a little risque but then you said it like with a Santa outfit on. You're like, oh, no, oh, get away from me, Santa. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the whispering is really what makes that song creepy. Ugh. All uh, right, so Terry, let's get off of this yeah, yeah, yeah. this tangent that I just chose to go on of <laughs> no, creepy rap it. songs. Uh, I'm a, a fan of, of creepy rap songs. I think they're the uh, funniest okay, thing in the world. Okay, sorry, I'm going to bring it back Okay, for a bring it there back. There is a creepy, it's not a creepy rap song. What is it? There's, there's, I have, I have the theory that, yeah. Rihanna's song "Rude Boy" uh-huh. is about pegging. Have do, oh Terry, we pull the lyrics up. Pull no, the yeah. lyrics up. No, 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 no. I want to hear. Is, it. This is something for a different show. We're running, okay. we're running low in time. And, no, I uh, thought he said he said, "Come <laughs> on, Rude Boy, can you get it up? Are you yep. big enough? Are you, yeah, are, uh, yeah. Are or, you are you man? Enough? Are you man enough? Oh, it might be. Like it, it's like if you read the lyrics, you're like, "Whoa, she's definitely pegging him in mm. this song." Like, okay. yeah, it's it's like, take it, take it, baby, <laughs> love it. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like, it's not even subtle. She is not even subtle I remember about it. really liking that song That's a great when it song. came out. Great song. No, Robin, it's a great song. Robin I've been li- I, I listened to Rihanna all afternoon <laughs> because, of the, like, this came up last night, and then I was like. You're just like, I'm going to listen. Yeah, to so I've been listening to that song. <laughs> it's a great song. Anyway, yeah. all right, let's 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 talk about all some right. upcoming releases before we get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this first one actually i'm getting a little thrown off here i just uh, bunged up we're gonna do the same deal so this is uh slated to drop around kind of like late november so we're gonna look at some of the shoes that are coming around <laughs> around that time it's more <laughs> halloween stuff because everybody's <laughs> fucked yeah, up because right? <laughs> the supply just like, chains are okay yeah, we got boats. the pumpkin <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah the, the boats. pumpkin four <laughs> boats are late <laughs> like, um well, so what I will say is a reminder. We're gonna do we're gonna do this like a little more rapid fire than I think we did the last one. So okay. for the two of you, there's no nuance on this. We are doing thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay. And it's again f- kind of first thought, best thought. Uh, as I pull up, so the first one. Oh, and uh, spoiler alert: I like a lot of these, but they're not giving me any good photos of them. Uh, All right. I'm gonna just show these three in a row. Two of them are the same, and then we'll we'll get conversation on the second. But we're gonna talk about these uh, blazers first. Oh, those are cool. Oh, Thumbs sorry. up. We're, uh, we're out of the. Uh oh. Escape. I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm wasted. This there we go. Got me fucked up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. So let's talk about these ones on the left. The uh, the white and rush maroons. Uh, Bjorn, I like Nick. No. I like, no. thumbs down, I thumbs like thumbs both down. of those. Uh, I like both of those blazers. I th- I like the color blocking. I think they're cool, and I like the blazer as a silhouette. I'm the ones on a, the 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 black ones. These the ones? ones in the middle. That's what I was just gonna get to. Yeah. If uh, I'm if I buy either of them, those are the ones I would yep. buy. Uh-huh. I like Bjorn those. I'll, I, I'm a thumbs up on those. Thumbs down on the maroon. It just I don't know maroon. I still like. I have a hard time with maroon because of that. That. Do you remember uh, uh, kinky boots? 
Nope. This is going to be a. This is. I not have the a hard right time with maroon because fuck the Grizz. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have a hard time with there the maroon. There you go. Oh, I yeah. like that you're wearing a cat shirt. Wearing a bobcat shirt. Fuck the Grizz. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I was just looking at houses in Missoula today, just for funsies. Mm-hmm, they're worth you know less what? than houses in Bozeman, aren't they? <laughs> no. You know what's cool about houses in Montana? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Lots of shit. Sorry, what's, Montana. Boys. I love it, bro. Montana's no. a shit. You I was looking there, at it, it's like, like it. the housing prices are about the same as they are here in Portland, but mm-hmm. but like you get way more property. <laughs> you say that. Um, you do. You get like a on half a lot acre or yeah, an like acre, half lot. acre There's some developments like you could, that are just like, why would I move to Montana and live two feet from my neighbor? That is how <laughs> Bozeman like is turning. Dumbest, Bozeman is turning yeah, into... All those fields like, have been just turned into that. They've been turned into Beaverton, Oregon. I, I lived in one of those places... Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm a no on the maroon um, or the burgundy, uh, (laughs) and I am a yes on the on the other ones, but they still both kind of look like wrestling sneakers to me. Uh, I love the blazer. I love the blazer mid. Uh, I think I I like the first one. I don't know that I'd buy them. I said up front. I might download the app. I really like those uh, the mid seventy sevens. Those look something like those definitely mm. look like a Terry shoe to me. What like, do we what like do we think feet. those are gonna retail at? Buck twenty? One yeah, yeah. regular blazer price. <sighs> yeah. Is it one ten or one twenty? I might have to call it a favor and see if I can get some employee passes when Just, they drop. Yeah, because oh, they to see if they're gonna get because these probably yeah. won't sell out most of most of the blazers don't, unless they're like an off-white or a Sakai right. collab. They're yeah. not really going to I haven't sell worn out. blazers in a while. I'm really excited about it. Let's talk about these uh, 90s, though, over here on the right-hand side. They're mm. teal. I'm going to see if I can pull up, like... I'm not into them. That's a thumbs down for me. It's um, it's all the same color. It's boring. I I like it. I'm the not going to go for them, The 90 is a perfect them, hue to color block. And uh-huh. make, yeah, and they didn't. No, that's and they just really made everything the same color on one of the better hues what is that, to the make aerial? different <laughs> colors. Yeah, the 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 Air Max ninety Little Mermaid. Get the, the fuck out of here! Mermaid. Yeah, <laughs> like that's garbage. <laughs> Next. All right. Uh, I don't know if you noticed. Maybe you might have to turn around and look at this screen. There's like some dangly. Oh, shit it's on got it? a chain wallet. Bro, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Oh, and it's got a chain wallet. It's got Even flare. more no. Yeah. You guys say that <laughs> chain wallets are coming back. I right? don't really? care. I've been seeing a bunch of them in oh, the wild man. lately. I, would I say haven't. About half of them are appropriate. Oh the no, we're half. in Portland. You're talking. Yeah. Those are pocket watches. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not like some chain wallet. Like, I feel like just because I'm wearing these it's fucking a monocle. pants. Okay. <laughs> no, I bet chain it's somebody's wallets, monocle. <laughs> that you're chain seeing. wallets are only cool if you were doing it when it wasn't cool and you stuck with it. Like uh, Big J Okerson. I've seen some of those. Yes. Fucking Big J Okerson. Oh, Big J was one of the guys wearing it. Yeah. But he's really? a chain wallet <laughs> yeah. guy. He is a chain wallet guy. I do and not he's mean oh, that been, as a bad thing. And he's but, like, been a chain wallet guy the whole never time. never stopped. Everybody consistent. said it wasn't cool, and he said, fuck you. And so he, it's cool for him. It's not cool for me. I thought about getting one. I'm not putting a chain wallet on my on your, on your shoes. fucking All right, we peel. can't. <laughs> so I I do I'm looking at them a little shoes. closer. I do like these quite a lot. I just am not a fan of blazers, and those are too high for me. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right, we got we're, we got some more rows Let's down here. Right. So more nineties. Okay, you don't like the teal, but how do we feel about the? Or not? 90s, those are nineties. Pre days. Pre days. Pre days. Sorry. Pre I don't hate that shoe. I don't think I would buy it. But I if if I saw someone wearing it, I'd be like, that's pretty cool. I, I like this <laughs> silhouette. I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna thumbs I, up. I think it's a nice shoe, but I'm rank, not going to buy it. Rank these in the next five seconds. Uh, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Orange, orange black, black, purple. purple. Yeah, We're all in alignment. Say. Yeah, I'm in uh, alignment on that. Orange, black, purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like, like patronizing. I like, I like that silhouette. I don't like the, the color blocking that they did on any of those. I would do like... I would do the the black one if it was like a bowling shoe and I could use it for bowling or something else. But otherwise, because it's like a very versatile. But I'm to this point, like I was saying, like I have so many sneakers right now that I'm not wearing. uh, I think one of the things with this that for me is interesting is it seems like they're desperately trying to cover up the check. Like, if yeah. you look at the way, like, the <laughs> front of it gets clipped and yeah. then the back of it gets clipped, it's like they're trying to, like... I think that is, like, the design language from their high fashion collabs. Interesting. Getting... Ending up in their general weird. releases. This one looks fucking weird. I think what they're trying to do is, like, the Kinda off-white thing where it looks like mm-hmm. they just pinned the whole fucker together with safety pins. Yeah. But they just did it in a sloppy, like, general mm. release way, and yeah. it just looks dumb. 
One thirty, I would not. I would pay willingly. I'd pay seventy, eighty. I'd pay fifty bucks if they're on the 70, clearance 80. rack. I don't. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not, not gonna paying, buy these. <laughs> I'm not I, would, I would. I would. I would look because at them. I bet you. Like we had the whole conversation after the last show about uh, the Yeezys being really comfortable. Mm-hmm. I bet you that these are fucking awesome to wear. Yeah, like, I bet they're decent. I bet they're not I as mean, comfortable as you think they're. These are as comfortable as the Yeezys. Yeah, those in my have mind. React yeah. foam, dude. Those they're, they're, and, and that's why I at. look at them all the time because they're still available. There's a couple of colors available. Mm-hmm. There's even like a very gay flag one that yeah. I'm just like, uh, if I needed to go to like a Pride Festival yeah, right. or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what's it, July? July's going to be popping. This yeah. Year. June? But, oh, it was June. Uh, you know. June? So yeah, I think yeah the two straight guys talking about what <laughs> you do. Which one? Pride. Which one yeah. do we give them? The, yeah, yeah, hold on. <laughs> we, got some more, we got some more. We got some more. <laughs> yeah, which one did we break them off? Yeah, <laughs> which one did we break them off? Uh, all right, now we get some more wild shit. So we got two uh, more free days. Two more of those. Uh, I don't care about those. You know what? I actually do like this. Is my favorite right that, here. That's the oatmeal. I agree. I, I fuck with the oatmeal. Of all five colorways, I think that's now the top one. That's my top one. And I still don't care about it. What? I still I'm, I'm I don't on board. care about that either. That's but what Reebok. is that? We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> I like the white and red uh, pre day. I think it's mm, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, the it's the kind kamikaze. of this is kind Reebok of like an updated um, uh, Cortez. Uh-huh. This is like a like I know a you don't 20, like Cortez. 20, yeah. <laughs> 2022 wasn't that Cortez. one dude that was on our show a couple weeks ago wearing a pair of these in like black and white? He was wearing some big crazy Reeboks on. Um, on guest spot. On guest spot, maybe. Okay, I was gonna say if you don't remember who was on this, not podcast. on the podcast. <laughs> no, not on the pod. On our on, on our, our stand up show, show, which has ten people a night. I it's feel like you're right. He I was wearing. Like I, I think they were those. those. He's funny. I like that kid. A lot. They are. Yeah, that's this that's definitely a statement. Looks, this definitely looks like one of those art installations where everybody gets to pour a little bit of um, oh, stuff. Sand. A little bit of sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, a a <laughs> like a poor painting. Like a poor painting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a thumbs down for me. like a, a shitty version of the Blazers City Edition jerseys that they had last year. I don't know if you remember those. Kay. They had like some very interesting color waves. Yeah. I All don't right. remember those. We're going to cruise down. We got some more Reeboks. How do you feel about <laughs> these versus I the I hate this silhouette. I yeah, don't I don't like, like this it. This is the Allen Iverson silhouette right uh the question yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah um i <laughs> like the idea of it but nah ain't for me i think this shit looks way too much like the fila revival like mm-hmm. it's just it's it was such a weird era of shoes and skate shoes from this time kind of look like this too and I that just, was like the late 90s early 2000s yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah so yep huh. um, okay I think we're all thumbs down on those and then here on. you go bjorn we got another camo it might Ooh, be hard for the bape van bape vans. camo vans a bape vans camo uh, i would i would go ahead and buy like bape i'm gonna give that a thumbs well, up you were just saying for you wearing want to set authentics right bape vans yeah those yeah. are the authentics i'm not oh, a huge perfect. fan of that silhouette uh i like that them. silhouette okay i'll buy the bape vans there you go Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> uh, one last pair of shoes that we're going to look at. It's another Bape Vans uh Oh, the Skate High Bape. The Skate Highs, which personally I cannot bang with. Uh, I can't. I like I can't the I like the low Vans feet. better. I just think I feel like the Vans <laughs> high tops. I'm there are certain shoes I like in a high top. Mm-hmm. Vans are not them. Is they, that they where you're going to? Too much like a chukka, and I personally have a vendetta mm. against chukkas just in general across mm. the board. Boots, shoes. I don't like the silhouette. I think it reminds me of like livestock. So for like some the reason. Clark's <laughs> Desert boot isn't your thing. Clark's Desert boot is a outlier. I think okay. there are certain boots that can do it right. Yeah, and I think the Clark's. Clark's. I like the Clark's Desert boot. I had a pair of those that I did blow the back out of. <laughs> like the the fucking lace is broken. There's a hole in the sole. Also <laughs> for me, Clark's have a a special place in my heart because of the culture around the desert boot like that was a really big shoe in new york Mm -hmm. a lot of like uh like uh there's a ton of clark's history like in jamaica with Mm -hmm. like dance hall music and all these things so Mm. i think it's got a cool like is that where the wallabies got popular or it's uh, like a lot of those style shoes because i know the wu-tang guys all talk about wallabies yeah they they and they all they have clark's Clark's does collabs with Mm wu-tang now on the wallabies Huh. So, um, yeah, I think outside of that, I mean, Vans are fine, but skate highs, the chucka s- highs, I can't the do them. The skate high t- toe box is too tight for my, my foot. Yeah. So, like, it's a nice wide shoe, and then there's just, like, this tight, like, the, the, the I don't know, the height of the toe box is too, too narrow for mm-hmm. 
for my weird foot. Those are the releases. That'll take us yeah. through the end of November, and then uh, we'll see what the holiday release schedule is going to look like. <laughs> is it usually like kind of packed because of holidays, or is it a little I'm reduced? not sure. Uh, and yeah, this year it, might be kind of wild. December is usually a good month. Yeah. There's usually some hype shit coming out in December. Okay. Cool yeah. Sound. Yeah, well, Terry, you want to take us out now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll yeah. do it for this app. We'll wrap things up. Bjorn's going to blow the back out of these uh, these threes that he's got. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I will. We mentioned it before, but I'm going to say it at the top. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, come on out to Guest Spot at the Funhouse Lounge in Portland, Oregon, every Thursday at 10 o'clock. Make sure to bring your Vax card and $5 to get in. But it is, uh, in my personal opinion, I am not affiliated with the show. Uh, <laughs> it's a great Thursday night. Uh, well, I'm not affiliated with the show beyond checking your Vax card when you pull up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But it's a great way to beat the Portland hibernation effect. So uh, come out on a Thursday to Funhouse at 10. Yeah. Uh, you can follow us on social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter at Size 10 Podcast. You can subscribe to this show so that you can make sure you get every episode on Wednesday. We are on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify. That's the three you need and nothing that you don't. Like I said, episodes on Wednesday, and we will be back next week with a new one. So thanks for tuning in. We'll check you later. All right. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye.